Good afternoon, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about the brand new 10 EMA bot that is out, and I will post 5.7 here for you guys in our group chat here shortly. But uh, what we're going to do first, and you'll see here, is just a quick back test on this. I've got a couple things configured. I've got a template saved, and this works just like the snapback and the open range breakout when it comes to running a back test everything's the same uh, you got your profit taker your stop loss padding days of the week uh, i do have close time set to uh what is that five minutes before 3 p.m central so five minutes before the stock market close and uh, we're using 500 dollars of risk 10 max lot and three trades a day now one of the things that you may notice is this does take multiple trades per day so it's a little different than the orb and the snapback, which are really designed for one and done uh, for the day. This can take up to three. Uh, obviously, you can change it to five. It's whatever you want it to be. But keep in mind, it's not. This is not three day, three trades per day. It's a maximum of three trades per day. Uh, it does also have a trailing stop feature component built in, and the way this works is based on ticks. So once you're in twenty ticks of profit, it will start a twenty. Uh, 20 tick uh, trailing stop and then uh, just like the traditional 10 EMA that some of you guys may have heard of with another company it does check the ability it has the ability to check to see if uh, we've broken out or gone above or below the previous day's high or low that will certainly reduce the number of trades that you're able to take significantly if you have that checked that's what that does and then of course uh, these two checks throw indicators on the chart when you look at this. So if we were to take a quick run, you'll see in this case, we have, we meet some basic criteria of at least 2.0 uh, profit factor. We have $7,000 of gains and we have less, uh, very little uh, minimal drawdown. And in this case, our 4X, we want our profit to be uh, four times our drawdown at a minimum. And so this obviously exceeds that. And so what this is, is we're currently looking at NQ, sorry, MNQ, which is the micros, uh, the micro NQ for the June contract. And we're looking at it on a three minute chart. Everything else is pretty much our standard stock. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at our analysis and you'll see obviously it has some wins, some losses, some things that come in. And in this case, uh, actually, the uh, the trailing stop, um, if it's enabled right here, uh, it does help us kind of keep, uh, usually kind of limits the upside a little bit, but it does kind of help us keep some gains locked in. Uh, so it's uh, by reviewing all of our trades, you'll see that some of these actually would have been, uh, some of these wins would have been losses, like this $50 would have been a loss, uh, like a $500 loss, but it turned into a small winner. Again, just based on the, uh, the actual, uh, how the trailing stop works. And so as you look at this, most of these are maxed out at our max contract size of 10. Uh, there's very few that are nine, seven, six. So uh, we are hitting our max um, max slot size. So again, that's could be good, could be bad. It's just something to be aware of. And if I was to look at our chart and look at the actual trades, this uh, the traditional like real life trading 10 EMA is modeled after that. It's not the exact same as you all may know. It does require some pre-market data to get into a trade, to do some things a little differently on pre-market. However, with this, um, with this tool, with this bot, uh, we don't have pre-market data. Futures doesn't have pre-market because it's 23 hours a day, five days a week. And so what we've done here in the bot is we actually started putting blue dots uh, like our other the blue dot represents the signal where it got into the trade. In this case, entry here, stop up here, and a profit taker down here. So in this case, we're closing below. We have a bullish candle, a white or a green, closing below the lower way for a break lower. And that's uh, this trade here where we got into a trade uh, bearish and it hit the uh, the take profit pretty quickly. Um, all the other, uh, the blue dots kind of represent um the, the candles that it would have taken a trade on. Um, however, we were maxed out at three trades uh, by the time we got this point, so it didn't take any more trades. And the strategy basically calls for 
a red candle closing. A bullish trade is a red or bearish candle closing above with a stop below and a take profit higher. That is a bullish trade. That's what it's kind of looking for. It didn't take one here because of our max trades in the day. Uh, the other thing you'll see here is uh, if we have, um, here's a bullish trade here. Um, it signaled right here, a bullish candle. We got triggered into the trade. We went higher, but we didn't actually hit our take profit. And instead we, we kind of went lower and got stopped out on that one. That is a long trade that lost and a short trade that won. Uh, and then here's the other trade of the day where uh, based on this one, we got in uh, bullish, kind of went higher, almost got our profit target and then kind of rolled over and went lower. So in this case, obviously, if I was to rerun this whole um, this whole entire back test and kind of lower the profit taker, maybe to 1.2, maybe that one would have won, but we might have had some other ones. You'll see my profit goes down a little bit. Uh, some other ones that would have taken a bigger win, but uh, actually ended up taking a smaller win instead. So that's the yin and yang, of course, of smaller or larger profit takers. You always want something more than a 1.0. Obviously, 1.2 or higher would be ideal. And so that is the basics. That is how the brand new 10 EMA works. And I will post the, the new uh, bot file, the zip file here shortly. And I uh, hope you guys all enjoy. Thanks.